Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at another Imperial Assault Villain Pack. This one for the Bantha Rider. Uh, this is of course for Imperial Assault and uh, you do need the core box to play. And uh, the Twin Shadows expansion is also needed to do the missions that are in here. So let's open this up and see what we've got. As usual, if you're going to use some scissors or cutting instruments, get permission from a responsible adult, if you are not one. This is put out by Fantasy Flight in association with Disney. And is, of course, based on the movie series of Star Wars. Um, and you gotta be careful not to cut your cards. Let's see what we've got here. Doesn't want to come out of the packaging. Alright. Oh, that is cool. That is a really detailed mini. Oh, he doesn't stay on there very well. But, let's see if I can figure out how he came off. There we go. Yeah, that is a really sharp looking miniature. I like that. The guy on top's gun is a little... Um, Weak. I would be a little worried about breaking that, but the Bantha looks great. That is a beautiful miniature. Lots of detailing. If you're into painting, this is a really good one for you. Alright, let's get him out of the way. Now be careful when you take him out of the package, because like you saw, the base is not secured to the miniature, so it might come loose. But, beautiful miniature. Very impressed with that. Let's look at his paperwork here. Uh, as usual, you got your components list here with all your bits and pieces that are in the package. Then you've got your mission, or your skirmish mission, I should say. These use all tiles from the core box. On the other side, we have uh, the side mission into the wastes. Get your map, of course. And then at the bottom here, it uh, uses two pieces from the Twin Shadows. And, um, what, five or six from the core box. Some of them are duplicates, they're just the end pieces. Not a big map. So, looks like it doesn't take very long to play that one either. So, that'll do it for that. Let's look at the cards. Alright, so we've got, ooh, quite a few command cards. we got six command cards. So, let's take a look at those first. Alright, we've got Parting Blow 2, Brawler. Interrupt when a hostile figure exits an adjacent space. Before that figure moves, perform an attack targeting that figure, then you become stunned. Another Parting Blow. Jundlin Terror 2. Use at the end of a round and choose a Tusken Raider or Bantha Raider figure. The chosen figure gains two movement points and may interrupt to perform an attack or ex deplete. Another Jutlin Terror. Opportunistic. Any mercenary figure. Use after hostile figure suffers damage. You gain three movement points. Crush. Any massive figure. Use when you end your movement in spaces that contain one or more other figures choose one of those figures that is small that figure suffers four damage it's a three down there in the corner and let's look at the reward card tuscan weaponry attachment non creature only deplete perform a melee attack using one red and one green die 
apply plus one damage to the attack results. You cannot use abilities during this attack. Or deplete, perform a blaster attack using one red and one blue die. You cannot use abilities during that attack. Alright, let's look at the agenda cards. We have Grievous Wound, 2 Influence. Place this card in your play area. Deplete this card after a hostile figure receives a harmful condition. That figure suffers 1 damage and 1 exhaustion. Relocated, 1 Influence. Keep this card secret. Play it when, you cho when choosing open groups for any mission. During this mission, the habitat keyword has no effect. Then either discard this card or shuffle it back into your agenda deck. Into the Waste, Tuscan Treachery, Tatooine Waste, 3 Influence. Play this card as side mission into the Waste, Bantha Rider Pack. After the heroes resolve any other side mission, discard this card and receive the reward listed below. Reward Tuscan Weaponry Reward Card. Alright, the Skirmish Cards. A Lair of Dianoga. Uh, Coruscant Landfill. The Dianoga can be attacked, health 20, defense 3. After an attack targeting the Di Dianoga is resolved, the attacking player claims damage tokens equal to the damage the Dianoga suffered. When a player defeats the Dianoga, he gains 5 VPs. Then each player gains VPs equal to the number of damage tokens in his play area. End of each round, roll one green die. Each figure within four spaces of the Dianoga suffers damage equal to the damage results. B. One Man's Trash, Coruscant Landfill. The doors to the trash compactor are locked. Health 10, Defense 2. A figure can retrieve a crate. Apply negative one speed to each figure carrying a trait. Each figure can carry only one trait. End of each round, each figure in a deployment zone or adjacent to the red terminal that is carrying a crate discards the crate and gains 4 VPs. And lastly, the actual cards. Uh, Beast Tamer, Skirmish Upgrade, 1 point. Exhaust this card at the start of a creature's activation for that figure to perform a move. Exhaust this card at the start of a figure's activation. If that figure has the non-sentient ability during his activation, that figure can interact. It's pretty good if you got the Rancor. Uh, Bantha Rider, Creature Brawler, 9 points. Massive, Surge Pierce 2, Surge plus 2 Accuracy, Habitat Desert, Deplete, Trample, choose up to 3 adjacent hostile figures and roll 1 red die. Each of those figures suffers damage equal to the damage results. Stampede. When you end your movement in spaces that contain other figures, each hostile figure in your space suffers one damage. Health 21. Speed 5. No defense. Attack blaster of 1 blue, 1 red. Alright. Uh, pretty harsh. Um, actually pretty cool looking. But that is what is in the Bantha Rider Villain Pack for Star Wars Imperial Assault. As always, thanks to Wyatt for letting me open all his cool stuff. And uh, that'll do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.